Alright guys, Terry Dactyl here, and today I'm going to tell you about resources and resource nodes in Hell Let Loose. If you find this video useful, then please give us a like and subscribe for more videos like this. So just FYI, this was recorded on the 18th of January 2020, and as this game is still in development, this information could change. So keep an eye on the pinned comment if there is any, because any additional tips or changes in information will go there. And thank you to Kalas the Warlock on Reddit for giving me some more detail and extra information. So in Hell Let Loose, there are three different resources. Munitions, manpower, and fuel. You can see how many resources your team has by looking at the top of your map. You will see how many resources your team currently has, and how many more resources you will get every 60 seconds. We'll get into the details on how you get more resources a little bit later on. So first up, let's look at munitions. Munitions are used for every single round an artillery gun will fire, and for commander abilities. For artillery, it costs 5 munitions for one smoke round and 3 for one HG round. Munitions are also used for anti-tank guns with a cost of 5 munitions per round fired. The commander's abilities that use these munitions are Supply Drop, this costs 15 munitions and this allows the commander to drop resources down onto a specific location. Strafing Run, this costs only 5 munitions and lets the commander pull down a plane from a strafing run using its machine guns and the bombing run for 75 munitions and as you can guess it pulls down the bombing run along its location. Now manpower. Manpower is depleted every time a player dies. This is either by being outright killed such as a headshot or being exploded or when they give up. Manpower can get to zero and players can still spawn in so this could be part of the game that's still in development and not fully implemented yet and also there are a couple of commander abilities that use this resource. Crazy! <laughs> First, there's Encouraged. This costs 30 manpower and allows any captured sectors to generate more resources temporarily. Final Stand. This costs 30 manpower and this stops your team from losing any resources for a short time. And Reinforced for 30 manpower this temporarily increases the capture power of all sector strong points in a friendly controlled sector. And lastly, we have fuel. Fuel is depleted every time a tank respawns. The cost is slightly different per tank, which works out to be 30 for the Lux and the Stuart, 50 for the Panther and the Sherman, and at least 50 on the Tiger tank. And they will not respawn if your fuel resource is below 50. The in-game field manual says there are command abilities that actually use fuel, but I can't see them. So either I'm blind or this is still in development. So as you can see from how the resources are used, it's very important that you get more. You need your artillery guns to keep on shooting along with your commander abilities and to keep your tanks rolling in. These abilities can change the shape of battle. So do your commander a favor and get more resources. But how do you actually do this? Firstly, you may not even realize this happens, but by capturing objectives, you will start generating more resources. Each point on the map will have a symbol, and this symbol relates to one of these resources. Once you capture this point, you will start getting more resources for this type. Capturing a point grants you an immediate boost of 50 for that resource type, and takes away 50 from the enemy's resource pool. The amount of resources it generates once you capture it seems to be three resources of that type for every 60 seconds. The next and best way to generate resources is with the engineer role. The engineer can build a resource node for every type. An engineer can only build one node for each resource type, and the team can only have two nodes of each type for a total of six. To be able to build nodes, an engineer needs supplies. A friendly support soldier can either drop these in or a commander can drop these in from the sky using his supply drop ability. Each resource node will cost 50 supply to build. They can only be built in captured territory. Nodes can be dismantled by friendly and enemy players. So if you see any enemy nodes, then dismantle them. They cannot be destroyed by weapons. And unlike garrisons and outposts, if you lose the territory they are built in, they will not automatically dismantle themselves and they will carry on generating resources. The key to building these nodes is the location. 
cannot place nodes in the headquarters sector. Every sector after that has a multiplier attached to it. So the first sector will generate five resources every 60 seconds. The second will be 10, the third 15, and so on. It's an extra five resources per sector. So you've got to balance the risk the reward and take into account that you can dismantle friendly nodes so you can build them further up the map, therefore generating more resources. So in theory, you could sneak a small squad at the beginning of a match, go to the other side of the map, build some nodes, just make sure they're hidden. So I hope all this information has helped you out. It's quite a bit to take in, but the main thing to remember is that resources are really important. Get those nodes built and take out enemy nodes. You can always spawn as an engineer to build some nodes and then just redeploy and change to a different role. You can even deploy support, drop supplies, redeploy as an engineer and build those nodes. If you like the video, then please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And come check out my live streams here on YouTube as well. So thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you later. Cheers.